Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my goodness, I am feeling great. A little bit more energized and having fun with my projects and you know, just the creative stuff is back. I like that. Oh, if you're new, hi, I'm Shannon. This is my yarn channel. Oh yeah, there's yarn. There's always yarn and stories and antics and I like to share patterns um, not like really share them because uh, you know I didn't make them but you know tell you about them things that I have found that I think are beautiful and you might think they're beautiful too that's just how that goes and show you what I'm working on and ask you what you're working on because you know I'm very curious there you go and if that sounds like something you like stick around like and subscribe because that's what I do all the time so for those that aren't aware, I have been following a designer on Ravelry. Her name is Anne Rigord, and she is doing 52 blanket squares for this year. And for one week only, she's making those squares free. This is square number 25. I'm going to read to you the dates on that. It's already free. So you can get it today, right? You can get it. It is free right now. Um, that is free Monday the 17th, so it's already free all the way up until 23 June 2024 Paris time. Note the time difference. So you can get it on Ravelry, you click on it, it'll mark down as free automatically, um, but the time difference is real, so don't wait. This is square 25. There's a lot of cable action going on this. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I like that one, and it's nice yellow. I'm working with yellow right now. Yeah, uh, I have not done a square in a couple of weeks. Well, I finished, I finished this one. What was this? Square number 22. That's 25. I think this is square number 22. I did just finish. Uh, it took me a few weeks. Not because it's hard. Not because it takes long. Because all the other ones I was doing in a week and then starting the next one, I just got bogged down with doing other things. But I know you're interested, right? Like, I got this pretty yellow one. Look at that. So I have four of these yellow ones, all different patterns. Each one are patterns that she has made. These that I'm showing you right now, these yellow ones, these are not free. I showed you the picture of the one, well, they, they were, right? I showed you the one that's right now that you can possibly get. Follow her every week. She puts on a new one. I don't know what they are. I've collected every one of them. I know that. And I've made quite a few of them. They are a lot of fun. Uh, you don't have to make all of them. Find something you like, right? One of them that you like, make that one. You can make a blanket or whatever you want to out of that. You just make great pillows. So uh, here you go. And you're like, why, why are you playing with that bright yellow? Because I like bumblebees, you know, weird that way. And I want to circle these with black, right? So look at that. Look how that's going to look. Look how amazing that looks with the black. So I knit my squares and uh, I use size eight um, knitting needles and I'm using a size H crochet hook and I'm just going around and I'm putting three rounds around them, single crochet for a round and then double crochet for two rounds. And that is my edging. So I've got those two. Aren't those squares stunning? I mean, look at that with that black on there. And where's my other one? Okay, here's my other one. So you can see I'm starting that right there with the single crochet. And I just started my double crochet round, right? So exciting. So moving right along. So the object, I mean, look how beautiful that is, right? I mean, you can do anything you want with these things, but look how pretty. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that, you can do like a kimono type thing. Oh, check that out. Oh my gosh, you could. Okay, I'm gonna turn, a, turn them into a blanket, but you can make them however you want to, but check that out. So you go like this, you could do this, right? Because that's so large. That could be the part of a sleeve, sewing that down, connecting this to this side. I mean, you can do modular clothes. You could do it. Okay, I'm kind of liking this idea. We're winging it, right? We are winging it. I like that black edge. Okay, so if I went like that and sewed that down, this is going to be a blanket, but I'm looking at other things. So sew that down. That would be a good three-quarter sleeve. Do that here. Okay, and if that's the three-quarter sleeve there, then you've got a base. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. And then could, could we do this? Could we do something like that? Oh my goodness, what do you think? You could have fun. I mean, you know, no one says you have to make blankets, right? You could have lots of fun doing things. These are going to be blankets. 
but that's that's kind of cool have you seen the different modular clothes and stuff you take the different squares and you can make whatever so you could turn these bases into clothing and just how you decide to sew them together turn that into a, a very unique one-of-a-kind piece i kind of like that idea right and that yeah i could get that Ooh. Oh my goodness. So what I was talking about when I stood up, okay, this one has all the full rounding. So if I went like that from the top, you know, where, where you had that black going from here and here. Okay. Well, I'm a little wider than that. Well, who says you don't just add more on the edge, right? And you can put like a, a triangle right here to kind of flare it, start here with really thin and then a, a triangle like that to kind of make it to where it works. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, it's creativity. That's all there is to it. But my plan with all of these is I'm going to sew all of them together. And uh, obviously with that bright yellow and that black, it just screams butter or butterfly. Well, yeah, you could do butterflies, but it screams bumblebees to me. So I have found some patterns that I like uh, for bumblebees. And I was looking at doing some different bumblebees and maybe appliquing those on there. And uh, some of the other stuff, and I know I've shown these before, um, I did find my pieces. I cleaned my room a little bit. So this is some of my pinned on stuff. It's a mess. It's a total mess. But you can see I've got ladybugs there. So I like the idea of the ladybugs and maybe some bumblebees. There's flowers and stuff and some leaves. But you get the idea. So doing something like that. So I'm back at it. Adding more to it because those squares have been done for a while. And they needed a little love, right? They just need a little action. So... I stopped talking about it and just did it. And and sometimes we need to do that. We need to just stop thinking about it. And in my case, I do think about a lot of my crafts and I do a lot of dreaming of it. Sometimes I need to set that down and just pick up my needles, pick up my hooks. Well, in this case, it was the hooks, right? I did the needle part and it was the hooks and crochet around the edges. How hard is that? I did the big square, just crochet around the edge it's easy. So as you can see, I'm on my third one. Then I'll finish that fourth and I can put them all together. Um, let me see. Let me move my chicken out of the way. Oh yeah, it's my chicken. See, I got chicken. Um, I have, in case you haven't seen it, so I've got this one and it's waiting for embellishments. It is. I've got ideas. So this is the same thing it's the four knit squares. They're all different with the purple. It's the bright orange and then the purple. I've still got ends to weave in, but you get the idea, right? So this is, this is it. It's like a 40 inch square is what I've got going on here. And for this one, the idea is to use those flowers and the um, ladybugs that I've shown on that, on that board. That's kind of a big mess and do things along that line. And uh, I have all these squares and I'm like, okay, slow down on making them because I just had so many other things going on and actually put some of them together that I have going on, work on some of those embellishments, trying to figure that out and uh, work that route and try to get a couple done. These are going to be donated to Camp Boggy Creek. If you're not familiar with that, there are a lot of videos going on. There will be most likely a very large push towards the end of the year to make blankets and it's just donating it's it's for a camp down in eustace florida very sick children who don't normally have the opportunity to go to camp and it, it is it is just such a wonderful miraculous experience for them and so many people that it's just like one of those it was a call out okay and we answered because that's what we do. We're crafters. We have big hearts and we have answered with making blankets and the children get to take the blankets home that we made as long as they are a specific size. So if you want to make some, if you're making squares or it doesn't have to be squares, it doesn't. If you're making a blanket and its size is 35 to 40 inches wide and 40 to 50 inches long, if you'd like to donate that and let a child take that home, you can. So it has to be within those size parameters. You can knit it, you can crochet it, you can, you know, there you go. Use whatever pattern that you want to use. My goal for the ones that I'm making is I want them to be a unique piece of art. 
I don't have to be that extreme. I'm just that extreme, right? It's just my thing that I want to do, but I want each one to just be so special and so unique. And, um, and, and that's, that's, um, helps me. And the reason I say that it helps me is I have a pretty vivid imagination. So I have in my head, all these scenarios of when the child sees the creation that they get, because when they go in the cabin, they get to pick which bed they want and which bed um, has, they all have different blankets on them that people have donated, right? And uh, so I have in my head that um, that will resonate with whatever child ends up with that and they will really appreciate everything. And will I ever see them? Probably not. I, I would say that they're, you know, almost 100% certainty that I would never meet said child, right? Can't say, never say never, right? But um, no, they're not going to know that. But I like to think that with all the um, details and everything that I'm planning on putting into it, and even just this, right? This is pretty, I think this is lovely. Um, they'll feel that. They'll, they'll be wrapped up in it and they'll feel that and know that somebody somewhere made that specially for them. So that's just how I do it. Uh, but you can go any way you want to if you decide you want to do that. So on those Make blankets if you choose to. If you don't, that's fine too. Nobody's holding you to that. But you're going to see a lot more ramping up on the YouTube street, so to speak, around the August time period because the group that is collecting them, they're going to start where you can start mailing them to them in August. I'm not going to go ahead and put all that out there right now because we don't want them to be inundated right now because not everyone hears that August part, right? And we don't want that to be an issue, but it'll be from like August to January. And the goal this year, 2025 is what they're looking at. Um, they got over 1,000 for 2024 that they were able to deliver to Camp Boggy Creek. And it was amazing. It made the news channel. Uh, it, it really did. It was, it was pretty fantastic how they were talking about it. By the way, people across the world, it's not just the United States that sent blankets in. There are people from other countries, postage and everything sent in blankets. I mean, the YouTube community and the crafting world is so giving and so gracious. So that's what I'm doing with these and I'm having such a blast. And of course, the other part obviously is go out. I don't know who Anne Rigord is. She's the designer of these squares. I have never met her again. Most likely a hundred percent chance I will never meet her. Never say never. Right. But, um, she's put this, these squares out. She's doing this. I'm using them. So I'm sharing that with you. If you, uh, if you want to download the squares, right? And if you feel like it, look through some of her other stuff and give some favorites to it, kind of a show of appreciation. And if you really want to do something, buy one of her patterns. I don't know. She has other patterns too. Um, she has, uh, sweaters and things like that, that I did look at. Um, I don't get anything from it. I'm just commenting that if you like her designs, by all means, support her. So this is what I'm working on. And I am so thrilled to be back to it instead of just talking about, oh, I'm going to put black around these. I'm going to put black around these. Guess what? I have done it. I have done 50%, right? This one's black is done. Uh, this one, the black is done, right? Two squares. And this one, I have started it. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Single crocheting them together that's pretty easy, right? Those of us that crochet, not everyone crochets, I get that. But those of us that crochet realize that's pretty cool. You can zip that together. Pretty simple, right? So I'll get that taken care of and I'll have another blanket stacked over here waiting for embellishments. And like I said, truth be told, I think they're beautiful as is. I just want to ramp it up a little bit. I want to add some other things. I have been looking. I have found some other designs that I absolutely love and my brain is spinning. Oh, and if you want to hear some other ideas, some other people on, on the comments, definitely read the comments, right? Comment yourself and read the comments. They are amazing. So some different themes. Okay. It was pointed out that it's not just boys, it's boys and girls who like the creepy crawlies. So 
make your blanket if you choose to however you want to whatever knit crochet granny squares it doesn't matter but if you feel just so inclined and extra ambitious crochet or knit some worms i know it sounds funny and sew the little worms on or sew the little bugs on boys and girls both like the little creepy crawlies like that it will be the hit you will be the absolute star and then you can play the scenes in your head on what the child looks at and thinks of when they see the blanket that you specially designed for them some of the other ones besides the creepy crawlies um it was thought of of using like the blues and either a frozen theme all right you know the uh movie frozen and with the the white and the light blues and things like that and the you can do the snowflakes on it right you know we we know how to do these things uh and again you can knit or crochet those i would probably crochet the snowflakes but that's just me i grew up crocheting snowflakes so you would do those types of things another one was a pond you take and you do blue squares well for me i'm just talking about it because i plan on doing these four squares and then framing them but if you do the blue squares it was told um maybe framing it with um green and brown green and brown green or brown right and that would be more of hey this is the pond there you go and i can see little schools of fish how cool would that be you know, doing something along that line. And if you really wanted to have fun, you could do a little school of fish, you could do a little duck, you can do almost any applique, any anything that you can think of and just really have fun and turn it into a massive work of art. The other thing that I look at with the four panes is I look at that as like a window. Um, you know, big picture frame window and whatever I put on there in the frames is what you're looking out into the world. So again, I have a, a imagination that, um, yeah, it's a little out there. It's, it's a little out there, but those are the things that I'm looking at and thinking of. And I'm so thrilled to have gotten back with this and working on these and getting this started and, uh, you know, just, just doing it. I mean, I was, uh, in my own world, I've been slacking in certain areas. You might not see it, but I notice it. I feel it. I didn't like it. I'm making changes in my life to where I don't have that. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling lighter because of it. That's a nice way to put it. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Don't forget, like and subscribe and go grab your square. Go grab your square. This is square 25. And 26 will be out um, Sunday slash Monday, depending where you're at. It'll be like Sunday night or Monday morning, right? Because the time zone, it does make a difference. But bookmark her, grab your square every week. You've got a lot left you can get by the end of the year. Have fun and let me know if you make any. With that, I want to let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.